One of my favorite applications of the infinity change is this. It's a gradual change to a blank card, and then you can then, you know, change the card to whatever uh, card you want. What's good, peeps? It's your boy, Edward Toda. Today, we're going to be reacting to David Blaine on the Good Morning Show, Good Morning America Show, whatever they call it. I am not American. I don't know these things. So let's take a look. I'll tell you what I think. You guys already know. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys already know David Blaine's one of my favorite performers. Not necessarily my favorite magician per se, like in terms of who I aspire to in term, you know, like in regards to technique and, and delivery and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of the actual performance, the vibe he actually has on set in the actual like performance itself and and the way people kind of um react to him right he kind of has that vibe where you, you just you just captivated so i really really love about that about him I, i'm a huge fan so let's take a look and i'll tell you what i think all my favorite people and was lucky to be able to just jazz out with them by the way i brought you these special abc decks of cards <laughs> Since you, you David produced here, that. We can't let you go without doing it. No, I agree. Yeah. But wait. But wait. It has the David Blaine logo can, on him. Can everybody stand up except before. for Michael because you'll make us look short. Yes, but okay. everybody else, can you all stand up? <laughs> <laughs> so, but Michael, I'm in Mike, trickers. but Michael, Michael, you know how to shuffle, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Can you shuffle the deck a couple of times and examine it? Well, make sure it's okay. okay. Can I, you, can I use your card? Absolutely. Can I write on the back of it? Absolutely. So I'm gonna I'm write some. It. I'm gonna write some words down while Michael shuffles. So you see, I write E S P. What does that mean to you, E S P? Like, yeah, psychic, yeah. whatever, right? Right. Here, and then I'll write V. Whoops, V I P. What is that? Very important person. Very, yeah, perfect. Very important yeah, yeah. person. And then I'll do now like this. N O W. Now. Can you hold this for me? Sure. For now, Michael, you shuffled the cards. Yes, I did. Can you spread them face up right here so she can see them all right? Okay. Yeah, okay. face up, face up. Yeah, okay. great. Now, yeah, right. yeah, 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 good. So we can see all of them. Okay. So yeah, spread, go ahead, spread them out. Yeah, yeah, good. Now, here's what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Put your finger at the top of the deck like this, mm -hmm. and I want you to slowly move across the cards, but you're not thinking about a card specific. Just slowly move across the deck, and sl yeah, slow down as you go, great, and keep slowly moving across, yeah, yeah. Good, and keep moving across, That's great. Magical. And, and, <laughs> and then you're basically gonna stop anywhere, so wherever you want, just stop, yeah? Oh, you're stopping? Yeah. Lower your finger where you, so you stopped on what card? Three? Three of diamonds. Three of diamonds, mm -hmm. push it forward. So you could have stopped anywhere, but you chose to stop on the three of wow. diamonds. Right. Do you okay. know why you stopped on this card? No, I don't know. Just I'll don't tell know. you why. Because, because of that. Subconsciously, your brain read that differently. Can you turn it so we could read it this way? Yeah, flip it this okay. way. Yeah, yeah. What does it say? Flip it like this. What does it say? Read like this. What does it say? Read it. It's three. just three diamonds. Three diamonds. Three. three. <laughs> See that? Hold on, look. That is so such a cool so way to, to so your pick brain a card. actually processed it, but you didn't, you weren't aware. Right. So you did this, you chose to stop there. And that that's, is yeah. unbelievable. Oh my God. Well, you know, that was subconsciously. Consciously, we're going to watch your show. Absolutely. It is David Blaine, wow. Beyond wow. Magic. It airs tonight <laughs> It's interesting because that is... You, got, you, you heard the reaction of the people in the audience. As she was going like this, that just by itself is such a magical way to pick a card. I actually remember reading about um, this specific way of picking a card. I don't remember where, but the presentation of it is just so magical. It's so, it's almost like, you know, even though you're telling her to do it, um, you know, the fact that her finger is just moving very, very slowly, it's almost like a hypnotic thing. So that in itself is a very magical, like, moment, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the actual um, visual of it just looks very cool. And then, you know, the, the openness with which he, he writes that down, non-committally, magicians, you know what I'm talking about, uh, non-committally, but, but also like the openness, right? Everything seems so open, you know, he makes the prediction, he, he, he you know, he gets her face up to just stop wherever she wants. Um, at least that's the feeling. And... Boom, the prediction is just right there, right? 
I'm uh, I'm very very curious to to li less than this like more so than this trick itself. I'm more curious to see what other things David has planned. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, you know, if there were multiple, uh, if, you know, if if there was a front exit and a back exit, which way out would he go? So. You know, that's what I'm curious about. I would like to pick his brains on on, on, on all these type of things. I don't, you know, less so than the trick itself. This trick is, you know, it's a very, very cool moment and it's a very, very cool thing, but the structure behind it is much, much more interesting. So that's what I would like to talk to David about. But anyway, that's a really, really cool idea. I've done uh, similar presentations before, um, but this way it's, it's a lot more less you, it's a lot less of a commitment. Um, the way I've done it before is having you know all the cards be blue and have the card you know the the, the card they, they they touch be red, right? And that's just a bit more messy. Um, this this is very very clean. If you know what I'm talking about, any magicians out there understand perfectly. But this is a very very nice idea um, to to basically to basically do this exact type of movement, you know, to get them to stop and, and the reveal is right there. The reveal is, bef you know, you, you, you put the reveal down, no one knows it's a reveal, but then once, once they've picked the card and you flip it over, everyone understands. And I, you know, this has happened, this has been in play before. Uh, Colin Cloud has done a very similar uh, thing. He does it in his show. He opens a show with a very similar type of prediction. Um, the, the, the prediction itself where you flip it over, not the, uh, not not the not the the way that the selection is, but um, also um, Dan White has done a very similar thing, I believe. So this 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 is a recurring thing, but it's a very very cool idea. And uh, David, you know, I like how even even after the trick is over, the camera's cutting away. He's still trying to play up the performance. He's still basically, you know, saying you could have picked anything. You could have done it. like he's still in that mindset. He's still he he literally this guy lives the performance. This guy lives it. Like you know when you drive a a, a stake through your hand and uh, you know develop scar tissue he, he lives he literally lives performing so I don't know if there's gonna be a dude that does it just like him uh, he's definitely very very good but anyway that's about it for me if you enjoyed this video do leave a like it helps me out a lot subscribe I do more you know I do videos uh, as often as I can I'm trying to improve my production value so I'm cutting my daily videos for a little bit um, but I'm coming out with some cool cool stuff so definitely Stay tuned for that. Uh, as always, mad respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.